57 million people live off the Yamuna as a source of water. It accounts for over 70% of New Delhi's water supply. However, many religious practices around the river are severely polluting the river. The villagers are bathing and washing their clothes in the river, and the water sanitation factories are not working properly. Burundi's villages worship the gods, and they create idols that are made out of non-biodegradable materials like plastic. The chemicals from these non-biodegradable idols are harmful to the river. These products are colored by lead-positive paints. A lot of the lead-positive paints mix with the river water and it pollutes the river. Factories near the river are unable to prevent themselves from polluting the river. They dump all their waste, which creates further pollution. The reason most of the sewage goes untreated is because one-third of the available sanitation plants opened by the government remain closed due to improper design, poor maintenance, lack of reliable machines, absence of employees, and poor management. Functional plants are only able to clean 20.7% of the 29,000 million liters of sewage, which is approximately 6,000 million liters. This sewage is leaking into the rivers and creating excessive pollution. The lack of clean water is lowering the health of the people that live near the river. This is due to a chemical imbalance that includes chemicals such as phosphate and ammonia. When these chemicals are ingested by the people in the villages, it results in them getting waterborne diseases or chemical poisoning. This also affects the financial state because the people are not well enough to go to work and earn money. If someone, part of a family, falls sick, then the family income may reduce and that can prevent families from getting their basic needs. Diarrhea is a major waterborne disease that babies, kids, and adults can acquire. This can dehydrate you until you die. Just alone, diarrhea kills about 1,600 infants and kids daily. Pollution in the Yamuna also affects the environment around the banks because of trash that is thrown into the river. This clutters the banks and affects plant life as well as the animals' habitats that live around the trash. This trash also poisons the animals that mistake it for fish or food, which in turn can be eaten by humans who live around the infected area. Another issue that is polluting the river is that the people that are living along the Yamuna are bathing and cleaning their dirty clothes in the water. This is polluting the Yamuna with soap, human feces, and trash including cans, bags, and other pieces of plastic. This is hurting the water because the bacteria and germs that come from the people are floating downstream to other people's water, which they end up drinking. However, we can stop this, and there are ways to stop and help prevent this pollution. The government can invest more money into the water supply factories or pay companies to clean the river. This will help because the money that the factories are receiving can use the investments to improve the factory machines that are not filtering the sewage and trash properly. They can also send specialists into the factories to educate and teach the workers proper techniques to clean, and they can open up more water facilities along the Yamuna. With these solutions, we can work together and save people's lives and the environment. Thanks.